the thing that becomes the problem to realize is making the decision that you made right. So you are fighting with yourself because you say, and I'm quoting you, Tessa Marie, I am trying to make the right decision. And you have been saying that and whatever it is you're doing, you realize it's not working. So you came to me and you asked me to help you because you have been trying to make the right decision and you're just not getting it. I can help you with that. In the following video, I will take you through the ways to do that. My name is Tessa Marie and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will find the answers to life's true happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when a video of this nature is released. You have been trying, you said, to make the right decision. And no matter what you do, the decision is always the wrong decision. Wow, I hear you. I've heard this before. And the thing is, your first word is not anything. There is no action to it. Trying takes so much energy because you're, nothing is happening. There is no action. You're saying, I am trying to make the right decision and I keep making the wrong decision. The whole sentence, the whole thing you've just said is so negative. It's so defeating. It, it is so low that you have to change your words. Words are powerful. We all know how powerful words are, yeah. Especially the words we use after the words I am. That's where we all choke because we put so much effort, energy, and vibration say, I am trying. That is just it's squeezing the words into one lump and nobody knows what's going on there. That's what is happening. The thing about making decisions, they require action. If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here and you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. So a decision, when you go to make a decision, you have to know for sure that you are making a decision, which is what we do all day long. We make decisions from the minute we go to sleep to the minute we wake up and it just keeps going in 24 hour cycles. The only time we might not be consciously making a decision is during the times we end up in the realm called sleep and we are in sleep mode. And maybe then we are not making a decision, an active conscious decision. But the minute we turn, we might decide to get out of bed or stay in bed or pull the covers tighter. All of these are decisions. So, so we make decisions all the time. And where you're saying that you are trying to make a decision, you have already made the decision. What is blinding you from seeing that you have made the decision is the word trying. The thing about decision makings, they are so easy. They're so automatic. We make decisions when we see something, whether we like what we see or we don't. We make decisions when we smell something, whether we like the smell or not. We make decisions when we hear songs, words, accents, and then we do not like it or we like it. We make the decision when we touch something and we don't like the feel of it or we taste something. The thing is, we make decisions with our five senses all the time. As I said, maybe when we are sleeping, we are not consciously making decisions. But the minute we flip over in that bed or we turn, even if we fall back asleep in 10 seconds, there were 10 seconds 
that we made a decision to stay in bed. So decision making requires no trying. We make them all the time. Is to realize what the decisions we what decisions we are making. In order to come to that point, we have to be in the present moment. We have to consciously make ourselves be in the present moment and be conscious that we are making a decision right now in this moment, like you made a decision to listen to me. You know you have made decisions. You've made decisions. It's not making the right decision. That's the problem. Because we make decisions all the time, as I just told you. The thing that becomes the problem to realize is making the decision that you made right. Okay? You made a decision already. You're not trying. You made a decision. We do that all day long. What happened is, we are seeing what is wrong with the decision we made. We are not seeing what is, what we can do to make that choice right. So you made a decision to use your credit card and to build up a pile of debt. Oh, that was a wrong decision. I shouldn't have gone on that trip. And okay, no, our job, your job, my job, once we have made a decision is to decide to make that decision right. How do we make a decision that we made that we feel now that it's made is wrong? How do we make it right? Is to stand in the moment facing the decision. I made a bad decision by eating all of these fattening foods. I made a bad decision by drinking too much alcohol and now I'm paying the price. What can we do to make that decision right? That is what we have a control over now. The decision is made. We are not trying anymore. We made the decision. Now, our job is to make that decision right. And this is how you do it. You get in the moment of where you are, having made a decision that is now affecting your life. And you, you take that decision and find a way to make it right. That way of making a decision where you spend too much money by using your credit card is maybe putting your credit card away. Putting your credit card away and not using it for a certain amount of time. You're making the decision that you made that was wrong. You're now making it right by fixing that situation. Freezing the card. Locking it up in a safety deposit box. Deciding I will use this card only when I pay off this debt. That's making a wrong decision right. I will use the money once I have paid off this debt to save for a vacation, making a bad decision right. Okay, you drank too much at the party and you have a hangover um, of mother of hangovers today. You cannot go back and say, I'm never going to drink at that party again. It's too late. You made the decision already. Your job now is what can I do to make the decision I made last night to drink so much alcohol right? Make a choice. Take something that makes you feel better. Sleep it off. Drink coffee, drink water. Whatever you need to have, you have to do is you work on that bad decision to make it right. Fix it by taking action to make the decision that you made that you do not like now in the present moment what can you do to make it right? Being aware. Saying to myself, I have to be aware that when I go to those places or I'm at a party that I limit my drinking or I balance my drinking with eating or drinking of water for every glass of alcohol, I drink a glass or two of water. A choice is made to make the bad decision right by having a plan to attack those bad decisions and fix them for the future. There is no return policy on bad decisions or decisions you wanted to make right. You have to now choose to make it right. It wasn't a bad decision because you make decisions all the time. The thing is to find a way to make those decisions right. Take action in the moment where you are and you say, this is what I'm going to do in the future to make sure I do not repeat 
that bad decision. But stop saying you're trying to make good decisions and you're making bad decisions. There's no such thing. All it is, you made a decision, your next step is what can I do to make that decision right? You have something in your hand, it doesn't fit. What do you do? You alter it so that it fits into what you desire it to be. Your job is to make the decision that you made right. And there's nothing else to that. And that's where you'll find a lot of peace. If you love this video, click here. Another one like on this topic will be around for you to watch. And have a wonderful and amazing day. Thanks for dropping by.